It's been slightly over one month since I made a video about Watcher, an AI-enabled gadget from Seed Studio. It's still in very much active development phase, and I have three exciting updates to share with you in today's video. We're watching. One of the main additions was the ability to use local self-hosted LLM instead of sending the data to seed-hosted LLM. Let's try it out. Download the binary for your platform. I'll be using my AGM but trusted laptop with GeForce RTX 2070. I wanted to try it on my daily driver Ubuntu 2004. However, at the moment there is only installer package for ARM64 architecture, which would work for NVIDIA Jetson, but not for my x86 CPU laptop. So I'll need to boot into my Windows partition. What about that shadowy place? That's beyond our borders. You must never go there, Simba. Once the application is installed, you have two choices. The first one is completely self-contained Lava plus Lama 3, or you can enter your OpenAI API key to relay the data to OpenAI servers. I'll go with completely self-contained option, so we'll need to wait until the model is finished downloading. Click on start the service and uh, you will see the IP address and the token. Enter them in SenseCraft app and be really careful here because apparently there is no check if the token is correct or not, so you can enter whatever, it will still say update successful. Let's try giving a watcher a task. Cool, it's definitely faster than before, because before we were limited to one inference per 60 seconds, now it's set to 30 seconds, and actually my laptop GPU processes one image in about 10 seconds or so. It's probably not as capable, because from what I hear, Seed uses OpenAI models under the hood, which are more capable than Lava for image processing. What I would like to see later down the road is completely self-contained setup. Ideally, I want to be able to run my own Llama.cpp or Olama server with OpenAI API and have Watcher connecting to that instead. This will give the owners of the device the ultimate freedom to choose the model and the prompts. Nobody likes the advertisement section, so I'll skip that. Instead, let's talk about the weather. The weather is absolutely beautiful at the moment in Amsterdam. I can see that from inside of the public library where I'm sitting and typing that. Moving on. Remember then the last time when I made an overview of the Watcher? You could only choose one of the pre-trained models to run on the device as a first stage of the inference. Now you can train your own model and have Watcher use this instead. Let's quickly go through the steps to train the object detection model using Edge Impulse from the data upload to model training to the final deployment as well a compiled model optimized for Ethos U55 NPU or neural processing unit inside the watcher. The whole process takes about 30 minutes and I'll leave the link to the public version of the project for you to take a look. Once we get Vela compiled model as .tf lite file, we want to upload it to Sensecraft AI, making sure that we have all the settings correct. You can see them on the screen in the video. Then in Sensecraft app on your phone, when you create a task, either by entering the text description of the task or configure it manually with your new option, you can select Use Local Model and choose the model you uploaded just now in a drop down menu. For this example, what I'm doing is I have a local model to detect the fruits and then vision capable LLM to identify if the fruits are good or bad. Last but not least, now we have an option to talk to Watcher and even create the tasks on the go. Press and hold the wheel button to enter the voice input interface. Then speak the task or start a conversation with the watcher. In the second case, it acts like a Google Assistant or Siri, providing the necessary info on the go. After you're done speaking, if the task was successfully parsed, you see it on the screen and then can either confirm or speak again. There's a whole bunch of other smaller updates such as power saving mode and more integrations, for example, with Node-RED, Home Assistant, and even Open Interpreter. But I want to talk about the grand vision for the Watcher while it is still being developed. 
It is a neat gadget now with a somewhat narrow range of applications. But the problem with it is that the interactions with the device are very static. You tell the device to watch something and then it reacts to a particular event. What I would like to see is watch it being a physical body for multimodal large language model, where interaction only starts when watcher reacts to a particular event. Let's take that flower shop example that Seed has in their wiki. It's cool that it can recognize a person holding a bunch of flowers and let them know they need to pay for the flowers. But why stop there? Why not let the watcher tell the person about the best flowers for their specific occasion? Why not let watcher calculate and display the amount of money the person needs to pay and check if the person has paid? Okay, so when monetary transactions are involved, the things tend to be more complicated, but as a simple assistant and a guide, I think the possibilities are endless if it is developed that way. As the saying goes, it doesn't hurt to dream, it hurts not to dream. We will see which direction development of the Watcher will take. The Kickstarter campaign will be live very soon. Check out the link in the video description. While you're waiting, take a look at the video at the product that had a blast of a Kickstarter campaign before.